Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to cover the OS module in Python. The OS module in Python provides a way to interact with the operating system. Um, it can be any operating system. Um, I'm using a Windows PC right now, so I can use this module to um, basically, you know, if you want to, you know, display the current working directory, I can use this command, for example. I'm in this, this code, and I can use this code to list the contents of a directory, create a new file or a directory, delete a file, uh, execute a sh shell command, identify the OS module or OS type, and um, more. So these are the things that you can do with this module. Um, so it says here it allows you to handle environment variables perform file operations and more okay so these are the list of the tasks uh, or operations that i'm going to do in this video so like i said um, you can use it to display your current working directory um, list the contents of a directory Create a new directory or folder, delete a file, join paths, check if a file, if a path exists, or you know if a file or directory exists. Uh, execute, execute a shell command, identify the OS type, um, view all the environment variables, and you can use this you know for loop to do that set an environment variable get the value of environment variable and delete an environment variable so let me go ahead and actually before i start you know uh, performing any of these tasks uh let me just talk about how you deal with you know the this module uh, in the first place so the os os module is not i mean it's sub it's part of the Python standard library, so you don't have to install it. So you can just, you know, import it into your code. That's what I'm doing here. So yeah, now we can start uh, doing these uh, operations. So let me start by uh, getting the current directory or current working directory that I'm on right now. I can just uncomment this line of code. So if I run this, it will give me the this is the actual uh, code um so what i'm doing here i'm just you know um saving or storing the the output of this code into this variable and i'm just printing that variable here so current working directory and the variable so if i run it i see this i think it was already displaying here did notice so it says current working directory right so this is the correct current directory that i'm on right now so yeah this is how you um view your current directory current working directory next is you can use this module to um actually this is function now uh, and this is also a function so this, you can all you can use this function to list the contents of a directory so what i'm doing here i'm, I'm just um you know putting this function into the print function to uh, basically you know print the contents of this uh function or the output of this uh, function so let me go ahead and run this uh, line of code okay so it says um, that uh, the directory that I'm on right now, it has two files. So one is this file, file to delete, and the other one is this file, which is uh, this uh, code that I'm uh, discussing now. So that's how you list the contents of a directory. Let me comment that out. And next is uh, you can use this function to uh, create a new directory or a new folder. 
So if we run this, I just created a new directory. If I go to the directory, this is the new folder that I just created or that, you know, this code just created. Okay. So let me comment this out. And next is this delete a file. So I can use this function to delete a file. So now we have this file in this directory and I, and I will run this code to delete this file. Okay. Deleted file. And now it's not here anymore. So that's how you delete a file. Join paths. Uh, join paths is, you know, basically, um, this is a function that you can use to join paths. So as the, well, it's actually always the path that join as the name suggests, uh, you can use this function to, you know, join paths. So in this case, this is the folder uh, or directory. And this is the file itself. So these folders and files do not have to exist for this code to run. So if I can just uh, uncomment it and run it. So I have this, you know, text uh, or string that uh, being shown in the console. So that's how you can use this function to uh, to join paths. Um, like I said, this is by running this command, this does not create the folder or the file. You have to uh, use another function to uh, create this folder or this file. And there is a, uh, I think it's make dir or make dirs. So you can use uh, those functions to create the folder or the file. Okay, so let me comment out this code and proceed with this one. So this is, I mean, what we are doing here is we are checking if a path exists or if a file or directory exists. And this is going to be a, um, the output is going to be Boolean. So true or false. Uh, in my case, this is going to be all false because this file does not exist. I'm pretty sure of that. And this file does not exist. I mean, path actually. This path does not exist, and this file does not exist, and this directory does not exist. Because if I go here, there's no, there's no file that text. There's no, yeah, there's no directory. Uh, so if I run this, it's all false. Okay, that's how you basically check if a path exists or if a file or directory exists. Okay, let me proceed with uh, this function. So this function, I mean, you can use this, this function to execute a shell command. Uh, in my case, I'm using uh, this D, uh, DIR because it's I'm using Windows PC. So if you are using a Linux uh, machine, you would use LS. So let me go ahead and run this command. Okay, now I just, uh, yeah. So here in the current directory that I'm on, I just did a DIR. Uh, command. So this is the function that you can use to list um, the you know the contents of on in this directory. Okay, so let me go ahead with the next. So this is basically what you can use to identify the OS type. So if you run this, I get this NT. I'm not sure what uh, NT stands for, but it's a Windows machine. Okay, so let's start. I mean, let's proceed with uh, dealing with uh, environment variables. So here, let me just comment, uncomment this line of code. So here, what I'm doing here is I'm basically, um, doing a for loop over this, um, over this uh, dictionary. I think this, I believe this is a dictionary, um, because dictionary com is, I mean, dictionary consists of the key value. I mean the key and the value. So that's why uh, we're using this kind of loop in this case. So if I run this, um, we see the key and the value. I'm not going to 
just look at all this but this is how you this is the line of code that you can use to basically view all the environment variables that you have in your machine right and next is setting a environment variable uh, environment variable so this is the line of code that you can use to set a environment variable so what i'm doing here is i'm just uh, creating this variable and i'm putting this value into that variable and i'm just printing the variable this is just a string and the variable itself is this so i'm here what i'm doing is i'm just getting the value of or i'm just you know retrieving this this variable so if i run this i see that this is the value of the variable okay so let me comment out this code and proceed with this one okay so this is how you it's actually the same thing um this is how you get the uh the value of the variable so it's this this line of this code is the same with this one so i would i would see this uh this output printed in the console actually none um it it will sometimes it takes a while to you know to get this to get the value uh, replicated in the in the uh, environment yeah in the os environment so if i try again no let me let me set the value again now we see and if I run this again, I don't see it still. Yeah, it just takes a while to, uh, like I said, to uh, to get this value replicated in the OS environment uh, itself. Let me see if, let's try again. So I wanted to see that this is working as expected. And it's the same thing, right? Uh, now I see it. So if I, Comment out this code and run this code again. So this variable I'm retrieving is the value of that variable. And I'm basically storing the value of that variable into this um, environment variable into this variable and I'm printing it. It should work. Yeah, I think I may not I may have to restart my system, but you see that it, it works here, right? Okay, and next is deleting a variable. So if I run this code, it says does not exist because uh, this variable does not exist in the OS environment. Um yeah, I may not I may really have to uh, restart my, my laptop like I said. So got deleted because because you know i just said i also said the the variable at the same time by running this code but you know uh these are the functions that os module functions that you can use to uh interact with the operating system and like i said it could be linux windows and this also i mean you can also use this to handle environment variables and perform file operations so that is all i want to cover in this video so if you have questions leave them in the comment section below and hopefully you found this video useful if you have don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and i'll see you in the next one bye for now